I'm Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fox from Kujin Cosplay. And we know it's been a while, and we know we've jumped over an episode when we published... What was the name of the last episode we saw? Uh, um, nosedive? Nosedive. nosedive. When we published Nosedive, we forgot to watch White Christmas. We're so sorry. I feel a bit bad about that because uh, lots of people told me that this was one great episode and we kind of just went over it. But, but we're going to watch it now. <laughs> I promise we're watching it now. So uh, I liked last episode. I know some people said that uh, for them Nosedive was the episode where Black Mirror started to become dull. Oh, yeah. dull, yeah. But uh, it's still interesting. Um, I like the change of pace. So I'm hoping the rest of Black Mirror will still be appealing to us. And by the way, I've been told today that uh, it's not Dickon. <laughs> the actor who plays the brother, it's not Dickon from Game of Thrones. But he looks like him, but it's not him. He fooled me. Yeah, well, I've been told today that we made a mistake. So sorry about that. And uh, without further ado, I really want to watch White Christmas, so let's watch this. I'm gonna guess it's about Christmas. No. About a gift, about, I don't know, about spending time together as a family. That's kind of <laughs> obvious. Uh, let's, let's check this out. You ready, guys? Uh Holy Winter. shit! You see, it's a special episode. <laughs> Winter's here! Winter's here! This actually looks like the beginning of Game of Thrones, season 7. Oh, Canada. Or, yeah. Does he live in Alaska or something? Antarctica? Don't know. Because there's no houses. Maybe it's a parallel universe of Days After Tomorrow. What is this? Is this like some kind of prison? Or if it's not a cell, it's like it's a very small room. I think he might be a, a researcher or a scientist, a scientist in Antarctica. Would you hate to live with someone who doesn't speak to okay. you? For years? For what about you? An icebreaker. You're learning. Well, what, what one's a shit for you? Show me what you're planning on wearing and we'll take things from there. We're gonna see what this? led them to more. this. It's boring blue and you're not boring blue. Not tonight. Is he like some kind of uh, anything. hitch? And sort out that hair. Maybe. Because, okay. Is he Will Smith? Looks like it, guys. I like how it's gotten normal for us that people wear lenses through which people can see what they see. Confidence, you can do this. He's like a little angel in his shoulder. Like 20 minutes ago, this guy, shirtless, riding a horse hey. down the high street. It's Donks! Yeah, honestly, he, uh, what? The brunette. Am I mistaken this time? I don't think so. Dawson, isn't it? You met at Cat's Barbecue. Yeah, we met at Cat's Barbecue back in June. June or so, yeah? This kind of reminds me of uh, Fortune Teller. Yeah. We'll pretend you remember even though. People have access to Facebook pages and stuff, they can see your information. Right. That's yeah. how they can tell your yeah. future. And since nowadays we don't know who's in our Facebook page and stuff, we don't question it. So he streamed everything he saw? And he trusted you with that? Well, it was only me watching. Jesus, how much you're in? He's missing like a harpoon Holy cat. shit. What the? Do you really want to go? Well, it is. He's like streaming whatever the guy sees. And it's like reality TV. Brush off the regular types. She's an outsider with zero in common. Okay, that's a possible end. Harry, engage in conversation, but be cynical. So it's not just him hitting on her. It's like a bunch of guys giving their opinion and hints for him to hit on her. 
I'm really trying to figure out what went wrong. Heard, that's why 90% of seduction yeah. is just listening. And I cannot help but no. think that the other no, dude is somehow connected to, to this. Oh wow, so three Christmas parties. This will be my last. Oh really? Are you leaving? Yeah. I've been planning it forever, but you know what it's like. Is she talking about suicide? I hope not. Yeah, it's like when you want to jump into a pool. You've always got these ten voices in your head saying don't do it, <laughs> and another ten in your head saying do it. Which one do you listen to? The do it's. Really? Yeah, if, if she is like talking it, about suicide, just... this is not good. You know, get it over and done with. Yes, I just... Yeah, it's just oh. a, a bit of a nightmare having you, you know? All of you in my head watching us, telling me what to do, and I just want to talk to her myself, and it's... It's a bit of a head fuck. I just kind of want you to all go away. Does she know she's being like recorded and stuff? Um, well, I'll just sit. The bedroom's that way. Yeah, okay. I'll meet you in there. What is she gonna do? I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. What's gonna happen, guys? Is she gonna take that? Because she put something in the drink. If it's not I want a discount. What's in the drink? She's a friend, yeah, guys. I know you she killed too. him. Huh? I saw you talking to them. Yeah, the real people. <laughs> These are real people. Such things real people. <coughs> she killed herself too. I'm well, glad I had a feeling she would. And she saw him talking to himself. She thought he was the same, that he had voices in his head. Does he have voices in his head? Please, no. Five inches of snow. Well, that's going to wreck my portfolio, just what I needed. That's the Lisa. <sighs> Don't know what I'm going to do about that. Lisa. Talisa, Rob's wife. Oh, yeah. Just time for a little snack. Uh, what's that noise? He's conscious. Uh, why can't I see? Copies the so mind of people. This particular mind. <laughs> That's really fucked up. Think about how you like it. Then just press the button. See? What? This is your job now. You're in charge of everything here. Uh, it's like a Google know. Home made with your own conscience. Alarm clock goes off in the morning. Look, it, it'll be much easier if you just comply. Holy shit. It's the perfect copy of the conscience of someone that is real. So it's like, it's like he's imprisoning someone real, making her do this. Now? Ready to go to work? Oh, no, 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 I'm not, definitely not doing that. Okay, well, you have six months. No, no, wait, 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 wait! It's... Terrifying. It was solitary and they just wig out. She's like playing Sims for the rest of her life. That's slavery. Robot. The little 
melodramatic, isn't it? That she thought she was real. But she wasn't. It's barbaric. It wasn't really real, so it wasn't really barbaric. Yeah, technically, it's not barbaric. But it is. A no gunman. What did you do? That's the same song. song. That's the same song from uh, episode two of season one. It's the song the girl auditioned with. Oh. Anyone? Remember? Someone told me there were Easter eggs in the episodes. I've known it as my first. <laughs> Why what? <laughs> oh, then. Oh, she's is, pregnant? is she pregnant? For someone who's pregnant, she drank. She drank like a lot of alcohol. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. And it's the same little baby in the then the episode. Um, what was it called? Be right back. Uh, yeah. Well, is the is she sure? I mean. It Christ! Is it from him? That's amazing. I mean, it's it's just. Joe, I can't. Well, it's at least disgusting. No, I've made up my mind. Well, I haven't. It would kill a kid. No, that's not it would fair. It would be torn out because it doesn't suit our no. plans. Stop, or I'll block you. Don't you? No. no, we can talk tomorrow. Just please stop. Don't you fucking. I agree, though, that you're pregnant. You know. And you're, in, you know, in a relationship. It's not just your decision. But I also agree the that end. the mother has the final say. Yeah. But she should allow him to, you know, speak his point and make it Beth. help her, help her decide. It's his Wait. kid too. Yeah, but it's so her body at the end. And it doesn't just block them. It blocks every image of them. So every memory I had of her was vandalized. I don't know how I have feel about that. And I want her to take a closer look. And there's her dad with our baby. Well, I can't even see his face. Because the it blocks cover offspring, too. No. But say something. Was better than nothing. Ugh. That's the. It's been a few months since I'd been up there too. That's the show. And I was just start at home. No. Bethany Gray, the young mother who'd only recently started. So no. she's dead. So she's not blocked anymore. Been so long since I'd seen her. It was hard to imagine anything but that shadow in her place. And there she was. Not a silhouette. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> Hello, darling. What? You fudging fucking me! Oh no! I knew it wasn't his baby! I said it from the start! That's... <sighs> the same song again. He's gonna kill the, the the guy? Like, don't do anything stupid, dude. Where's my daughter? You have no daughter here! <laughs> he's gone a bit crazy. It's not his fault, but he's gone crazy. He dead. Oh. But that's not real. <laughs> Pretty sure that what we see is that where they are. I hope not. That's not the present is not real. I guess. You just left a six-year-old daughter alone in a house with a corpse. You idiot. <laughs> What happened to the girl? 
Is that some kind of weird way for them to get the truth about the girl? Since he doesn't talk? Then on the boxing day she realized that no one was gonna help. Poor little girl. How does he know? That's what they told him. And she would have to go and get help. to get help and she died. She froze outside. How far did she go? Woo! I knew yeah. I could do it. Boom! I told you I'd get it. Alright, I'm coming out. When it was first suggested, I tweaked the time preferences. It made it seem like five years from his perspective. Some might say that five years with me is punishment enough. So they copied his, his brain or something, they put it in a thing, and they got his, his brain to confess, but he never, he never talked. Caveats. You'll be on the register. What register? The one for peeping Tom Perves. What does it mean, this register? It means you're blocked. By who? By everyone. What? He's technically, gonna, he's technically gonna live in complete exile from everyone? Oh, shit. And he just said that's no way to live, you know? Hey, come on. Just change the time settings. Cracked him up to a thousand years a minute. That is a proper sentence. Or do you want me to switch him off? No, leave him on for Christmas. Dickheads! Oh my gosh! Day after day after day alone with the same freaking song. For how many years? Is this that a thousand years? A thousand, oh, I, uh, both dudes are gonna spend eternity in hell. That's fucked up. Why do people in Black Mirror always want like very harsh sentences? Because that's reality, guys. Real life doesn't give you gifts. But is that a sentence fit for the crime he did? No, because the police officer are just jerks. Like, in real life, for if that happened for real, if the guy really did kill the old man and left the girl there to yeah. die, um, I guess that in court, he'd be charged, well, not charged, but, but sent to like a psychiatric yard or something. Uh, if he, He'd be treated as mentally in, in, unstable, you know? Because he didn't, technically commit murder on the little girl so that's not his fault and he was you know deranged so I think he'd be treated as a mentally unstable patient and instead he's like forced to spend well with what the dude did at the end at the end he's, he's, he has to spend like years hearing the same freaking song forever and ever yeah, and ever that's not real sentences sentence uh, yeah, it's not a real sentence, sentence. Just because the puzzle are just constantly. Yeah, but I mean, the, the real dude is still like in the cell and stuff. He, he's not gonna live that. Yeah, but but that doesn't end. make that doesn't make the the conscience unreal. It's a perfect copy. He has feelings. He ha he, he he thinks the same. He speaks the same. Feels the and same. actually, when I'm I'm saying this, I have like flashbacks of "Be Right Back." <laughs> Except that it's not it's not technically the same because in Be no. Right Back the the robot was you know only got information from uh, online services. online yeah so, services he was copying uh, stuff he saw memories online. posts on uh, social networks accounts that's directly but, like a copy of the brain yeah so every memory he got memories 
uh, old feelings, uh, old relationships. Uh, I'm guessing also new emotions because he technically had like the mental breakdown that the other dude never had. Yes, yeah, so there's probably an upgrade level of the technology that we saw in all these ep episodes. And as for the other guy, he's being forever blocked from everyone. So, I mean, no one is ever going to talk to him. He's never going to be able to see anyone. So he's technically living in hell, just like the other dude. It's and it's a different type of hell. People can see that he did some crime because he's all red, blood red. But I mean, you know, you're uh, he's, he's been described as a, a perv. peeping Tom, you know, a perv, pervert. If you are, for example, a pedophile or something, yeah. you are in the register. Doesn't mean that when you walk in the street, people are going to know you are on the register. No, people are on the register. And I mean, to, for, people, the street. for people to see that you are on the register, that's okay. And with the technology they have in this episode, you know, the lenses and stuff. It's not a lens, but anyway, the thing in their eyes. To see that the dude is on the register, that's that's a rightful sentence to me because he, he didn't do something that wrong, I guess. Well, it's harsh to say. He doesn't deserve that to n never see anyone ever again. For people to know that he's a pervert, okay, uh, that's okay. But for, for him never to be able to talk to anyone ever... That's really harsh. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this episode. It was good. It was good. I'm kind of confused at first uh, because I didn't see the connection between the three stories from uh, the yeah, the, I think the, that was the, the murder at the beginning, uh, the egg uh, with the girl in the middle. Yeah, but that was intentional. I think they wanted yeah, us. To figure it out as we go, like the the two first stories were about the first guy. I mean, and but they all came back in the third story because they had a, a direct connection to it. The first story was to help us, you know, understand the thing about the block, the thing about you know, and also also help us, you know, understand the first guy. What, where does he come from? And. Uh, What's his job? What, did, what does he do? What's his uh, technique to get people the, to talk? The technology, yeah. And uh, the second story was about you know, what happened to the second guy. What's happening to him right now? And it's really far. I, I am completely against it, by the way. The, the idea of copying you know, a, a person's mind and forcing a conscience to go through that, it's slavery. But on paper, it's totally okay because, you know, we're talking about robots. We're talking about something that's not real. But in a way, it's real enough for it to be not okay. But could this be uh, legally, uh, legal uh, confession though, on paper if they took it from well, a that's, copy of his own conscience? That's... My stand on this is that if one is okay, the other is okay. If one is wrong, the other's wrong, you know? Yeah. Which means that if this is real enough for them to consider his confession okay and real, it means that the conscience that said it is real enough to be considered seriously, you know? So, uh, Which means that, well, the girl that's stuck in the egg and all the other pretty people who are stuck in it are considered real enough so to all the people. stuff that they're doing are technically illegal because they are doing slavery on... Well, it kind of reminds me of... real people. Uh, I spoke to you about that, about uh, an issue of mine recently, but it, it's technically the same. When it's okay for them, they follow the rules. And when it's not okay <laughs> for them, they don't follow them. Yeah. You know? Like they're gonna they're gonna point out the technicalities and the description of the thing when it's okay for them when it helps them but when it's against what they're doing and against their profit and stuff they're, they're gonna say oh well you know what no it's just it's just technology yeah. who cares they don't really feel they're not real it's just fake well it's not I don't think I would be able to go through that <laughs> sorry. But it was still a very good episode. Um, I have a feeling... I saw the, the Easter egg. Proud of that. Very yeah. proud of that. And uh, I had a feeling that the lens thing... the Well, it's like I said, it's not a lens. 
but uh, the ability they had to record or see or take photos and use their eyes as their phone, basically, is the same as in uh, the episode where uh, Liam and... Uh, History of Me. History of Me, yeah, there you go. It looks a lot like that, which to me just confirms that this whole technology idea is wrong because we saw already in history of me mm -hmm. one of one wrong side of this technology like you can become obsessed with what you see and um you know why you we talked about that already you don't live in the present which yeah is kind of only and this, this technology is basically very similar and we just saw another downside of it like it could be used against you yeah. <sighs> And not just the lens, like the egg thing. I think the egg thing was it's more... Worse. It's worse. Well, no, it was more the central point of this episode than the, the lens thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the lens, to me, felt more like... Well, if we have the technology for the egg thing, we most definitely have the technology for the eye thing. <sighs> so, so it was just like a... A secondary technology it's not the central point of the episode I guess. but and it wasn't that bad you know the I think it's not that bad in this episode because we didn't focus on it but to be able to block someone like that it's harsh very harsh and you know, it could it could cause problem you know we saw with the dude he thought for years that the little blur he could see was his daughter when in fact it wasn't so it, it, it was for him it was like losing his daughter yeah. So I can understand why he, he went so, completely he crazy. Hope. He had hope, yeah. He thought he could finally see his daughter. And in the end, it turned out it wasn't his. So it could cause so many problems. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm against this. What I'm completely freaking out about is we have, you know, we have Siri and Alexa. Siri, yeah, but they're they're not... The, real they're not people. real people, but they can't. They could. What if they were? <laughs> Please, no. No, they are pre recorded no. sentences. Uh, well, not sentences, that's, that's but. Better. But could you imagine uh, a possible future where we could have this kind of technology in our own house, uh, a copy of our own mind to, to do our biddings uh, every morning? Well, <laughs> I thought for many, many times that, you know, when I'm doing something, for example, I'm um, shooting a video and uh, I, I have to be in front of the camera, but because I'm like playing a character, but I really want to be behind the camera too, because I know how it works and I know how I want it to be shot. And when I'm in front of the camera, I, I keep thinking it would be so much easier if I had a second me doing the job, you know? But to, I think your cell phone's uh, ringing. Be right back. So yeah, I thought I thought for many times actually uh, it would be so so much easier to have a second me doing the job because you know second me would know what I want, what we want, and how we want yeah. to do it. Yeah. But I I meant like as a clone thing or as a, a twin sister. Sorry about sorry sorry about that. Uh, but not as a slave that has my personality because it, it it's literally like I'm enslaving myself. The chip feels well actually now it's me who's ringing. Sorry. I'm going to answer. I do well, not speaking like that. Obviously not. Uh... There you go. Come on. I'm calling Tonsho. Uh, we're not speaking like that, mother. You know uh... Obviously not. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I comfort you. It's really the, the thing that's going to pay off the next one. Okay. What were we saying? Uh, that the egg technology is like if you're enslaving your own self in yeah. a small device. Uh, okay, there you go. I'm back. Okay. So, so and, and basically, it's selfish in a way that you are not enslaved, you know, but, and since you are not feeling the enslavement and you're not being the robot that controls everything, it's not, it's like it's not happening, you know, but it is happening. What doesn't affect you personally and physically, it's a right kind of thing? Well, it, it's actually like thinking, well, it's not happening to me, so it's okay. Like, this person being beat up, but it's not happening to me, so I mean, just, 
just keep going, you know? I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's... Uh, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. wrong I understand okay. that technology is supposed to be, like, to infinity and beyond. You know, to... we never stop inventing new stuff, but there is a line not to cross. When we are, you know, using technology to force people to live in eternal hell that they may or may not have deserved, or, you know, it's a bit like a white bear. The, the girl didn't remember what she did, and she was still forced to suffer the, con the consequence. In this case, the, the dude did remember what he did, but does it justify the means to the end? You know? Does it justify him living, like, years doing nothing except hearing that stupid song, forever reliving, you know, Christmas with the freaking body of the little girl outside his window? And I'm speaking of the guy, but what of the girl we saw, the, uh, the girl that was our example for the egg thing? She did nothing wrong. She's only guilty of wanting to uh, have a great technology in her house. Because yeah, because it's technically the same girl. For a second, we thought she, the girl was actually killed and just put into the, the egg thing against her will or not. I don't know, but... So it is her, it's her conscience, it's her memories, it's her, it's her emotions, it's everything that is her being used as a slave. So technology is good, advancement is very good, but there is a definitely, there is definitely a line that we should not cross. Thinking ourselves gods, using technology like... And not thinking of the consequences of our actions, because the, po the police guy, or I don't That's know if it was a police guy, but the dude at the end, he did exactly the same thing as what I said earlier about the girl, you know, oh, it's not happening to me, so what the hell? It's easy to push a button and not think of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I used to say that a lot about my job, actually. Um, I work in a hotel and, um, you know, we, we do rooms up, upstairs, you know, we, we do the physical work, and the people that are downstairs in the at their desks and stuff, they get, you know, the sheets, they, uh, they know what we have to do, so they just call us and send us, oh, you have to do this room and this room and this room. It's easy when you're not doing the manual labor to give it to someone else. It's the same here. It's easy to let someone go through something that it's gonna, it's gonna be a day for you, but it's gonna be a thousand years for him. A thousand years for a minute, you said. Well, yeah, That's... so you're not going to notice how bad this is, and until you've suffered it yourself, you cannot truly understand the severity of what you've, you've you put him through. Care. And you don't care. He doesn't care. No, nobody cares in this show. Nobody ever cares in this show. <laughs> anyway, but in any case, was it a good episode for you? Did you like it? Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I like when they make us think. Uh, with with Black Mirror now, we know that there's always gonna be some kind of downfall. There's, it's never <laughs> always gonna... something is worse than we think it is. Yeah, we, we think we've come to the worst, but it's always worse than the worst. Yeah. I think by now, I think uh, I'm pretty sure everything I'm going to see is not real. It's always not real at some some point. And uh, it's not like we we since we saw it like in the the wrong order we already saw the next episode that is going to be about video game mm -hmm. yeah if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. and um in this episode they made us think that the worst was done you know it was it was over with when it really wasn't <laughs> in this episode it started you know very soft you know like it's two guys living together and uh, it's gonna winter. be like a, a, a light Place. christmas episode you know and uh they made us Feel like no 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 wait a second there is something coming we saw it coming but we didn't know what it was and uh, in the end everything unraveled and I like that I like when they make us think I like a uh, Black Mirror version of the the wall from Game of Thrones it's my own thinking <laughs> it's like uh, why are you here I'm a bastard I did some crimes um I want to be I'm here a, I'm, I'm here to live out my days. So if we, if you think we're trying a British accent here, <laughs> I'm the watch. forget that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, but I understand why you guys said it was a great episode, and uh, I can't wait to see what comes next. What are what, what are they gonna do with 
Kind of knowledge. a question for you guys. What did you think was worse? The uh, blocking thing with your eyes, uh, the egg technology, or just the same... The forever living in the, the same way, cabin with the yeah. same song. What kind of hell is your hell? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of hell is your hell? Write it below and we're gonna kind of discuss it There's there. You have three doors in front of you. One leads to the cabin, one leads to the block thing, and one le leads to the egg. What would you choose? Which one does it sound better? Would you play Sims forever? I think I would play Sims forever. I'd be born in no, three minutes. Yeah, but it's still better than living your days in a cabin with the same song playing over and over again. Or being blocked from everyone. Because, I mean, if you're blocked from everyone, it means you're blocked from singers and actors. So you cannot watch movies, you cannot listen to music. You can be watching some uh, Charlie Brown episode. Yeah, you could, see, you could see the Charlie Brown episodes, but you cannot hear them. Because you're blocked from the actors. Like the teacher. Yeah, we... I guess you would have to be, to act like you're um, mute, blind, and uh, deaf. Deaf. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Except that but when you're mute, blind, or deaf, you can still interact mm. with people and you cannot. But he could still write things. People can see what he's writing. You can see what people are writing. It's just <laughs> Yeah, but who is going to talk to him? Who is going to interact with him? He is a red blur. <laughs> To them too, he's the you know? Flash. He's yeah. the Flash. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. No, okay. Red blur means danger, stranger danger. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, what hell would you choose? I would go with the the egg thing if I had to choose. What you? The worst. The egg thing. Yeah. To good. me, is not the worst. I would go with the egg thing. I would choose this one. If I had to choose one hell, I'd go with the egg thing. Go with the egg thing. Yeah, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> you want to slave your own mind in an it, egg technology? To me, it's better than the other two. Because you're not living in it. You At not least I'm seeing things. I'm interacting with things. I can speak. It's like playing Sims. It's terrible, but it's uh, not worse than the other two. To live forever alone what? in a... Would you stop? Would you stop questioning my decision and just make yours? That's the whole point of this episode. What? Disgusting. That's not what I said. If I had to choose between one of the three hells, I would go with the egg thing. What would you do? What would you choose? Just the egg thing too. Oh my god, you're choosing the egg thing. Why would you enslave yourself? Well, I guess I would choose that too. But why are you doing this? <laughs> I thought we were discussing about which one is worse, not which one you want to have. <laughs> I kept repeating that. <laughs> okay, you know what? Thank you for watching, guys. See you soon. See you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>